Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Twitch ZA Tips episode where I talk to the South African streamers out there and I just give my viewpoints on certain things and how I see things working and how I've experienced streaming. Now, who am I? Well, you've got to go and check out the first video. I talk about myself there a little bit, but a quick recap for the TLDR version. I've been streaming for two years, two plus years, the last seven months, no, last nine months, I've been streaming full time on tw in South Africa. And uh, just that, I'm not going, oh, that gives me the right to tell you what to do, but that gives a unique insight into the workings of Twitch. And that unique insight is changing almost on a daily basis. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the one question that was asked to me by a fellow South African streamer by the name of Goon Squad. Or, yeah, he's Goon Squad Tube on Twitch, I believe. And uh, he asked me, like, what are the pros and cons of a variety versus single play single game streaming? Now, for those of you who don't know, variety is basically you stream a lot of different games at a lot of different times. I see myself as a variety streamer. And I will explain to you how I stream soon. And whereas a single game streamer is basically someone that focuses on just one game. A good example, a good recent example, uh, the time this video comes out, is Seven Days to Die. There's a lot of guys, guys and girls, that stream Seven Days to Die permanently. And they've reached a lot of success with it. A lot of people want to... Ooh, that's a burp. A lot of people want to watch... Um, people stream, streamers stream seven days to die, a lot. And the problem with that is if you find into, if you jump into that category, you can't go into a game that's already overpopulated with streamers. So with seven days to die, there's a couple of uh, big streamers and they tr get most of the viewers and then it trickles down. Um, I believe if I do a seven days to die stream currently, and I just focus on that for about two to three weeks, I will have a greater and a bigger audience. Uh, the problem with that is I can't do seven days to die for three weeks straight. I'll go crazy. Um, I'll probably do it at most three or four times, three, three or four days in the week or three or four streams, uh, concurrent streams, and that's it. But okay, so the positive and the negative. Let's get let's bring that conversation back. The positive and the negative. So you choose one game, you have, you choose a single game to play, that's your game that you're going to stream, and you plan on streaming that game for as long as you possibly can. Good. You grow your audience. Man, a lot of people join you. What happens when you change a game? What happens when you introduce a new game? That core audience, most of that core audience, if they're not there for you, but they were there for the game, they will leave and find someone else to watch that streams that game you know and the funny thing is the same thing counts for a variety streamer you get a lot of people following you and watching you because you play a certain game but the moment you finish that game and you keep on telling them listen i'm switching over to this game later after this i'm switching i'm doing this and then i'll do this or whatever a lot of them you lose along the way so for short term gratific grat satisfaction i believe short term gratification I would say I would suggest go with a single player single game for about a month or two. Just continue focusing on that. Um, but just keep in mind how to change over from that game into a different game if you want to play something else. Um, I know that I believe it's Go Carnage did it pretty damn well. What he did is he's got two streams a day, eight hour streams, four hours, four hours, but there's a two hour break in between. So what he did is he streamed the one game permanently and then he decided he wanted to go into variety streaming. So what he did, he still continued to stream the game during one of those time slots. And in the other time slot, he would stream something different. Easy if you have two time slots in the day to use on streaming. But like us, like me personally, I only have one time slot and that's basically 5 p.m. South African Standard Time till 1 a.m. in the morning. I don't, I can't really switch between games, you know, I can't introduce new games. So if you are streaming like me, or streaming for long periods of time, long hours at, at a, per stream, I would suggest telling people in your stream, tomorrow I'm going to play that. 
okay? And just like every other day, start playing a different game. Still go back to your original game, but just every other day, go go to a different game. And what will happen, or go to a different, yeah, go to a different game. And what will happen, some things might happen while you're playing the other game that people will talk about in your chat while you're playing your original game. And that's how you gradually introduce them to the other games and everything. But it's very difficult to switch. It is very difficult to switch. Whereas, again, variety streamers, we get a, we get a very slow but reasonably constant growth of viewers. Now, I'm not saying um, reasonable in a sense of every month it's 10 viewers that's adding to your list. It's literally like every month, maybe one or two viewers that become that watch because of you that is the different that is the biggest difference between a single player streamer or single game streamer and a variety streamer variety streamer you have to be enter it's that's a difficult thing again you have to be entertaining you have to be presentable you have to be able to present every game to its fullest potential to its fullest ex extent and try and hook the people that way whereas if you play a single game focus on one game you can literally just do it and people will come um, that's basically how it works most of the time um, or in my experience at least so that is those are the pros and cons so each is their pro you get a lot of viewers if you focus on a game and uh, but I mean you're not you, you don't want to for me personally I can't see how people can focus on one game for more than three or four months you know because, I mean, after a while, it'll just get boring for me. I need a little bit of spice in my life. <laughs> and with the variety streaming, it is a lot more difficult. I'm not saying, oh, I'm successful and I succeeded at variety streaming. I've nowhere nearly succeeded some of my goals. My one goal was I succeeded in, and that is basically uh, doing this full time. Uh, but being successful and or being more successful at it while doing it full time that is the next step and i've got a certain couple of goals that i want to hit but that's enough about me oh my dog is coughing um but that's enough about me so do whatever you want to do you know stream whatever you want to stream just know that there are pitfalls and there are negatives to both and there are also positives to both so it's basically up to you. I personally am a variety streamer, so I might be a little biased in that opinion. So, yeah. Oh, oh, one more tip for variety streamers before I say goodbye. One more tip for variety streamers. Do series playthroughs. Choose a game with more than one game in the series, like Quake 1, 2, 4, or Final Fantasy even, and just go through those entire games. Or Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey. There's, I think there's two of them. You can go through the entire series. Currently, I'm doing The Witcher 3. So, I've done Witcher 1 and 2. Now, I'm doing 3. And that's how it works. That's how you keep things interesting. I mean, even I can't do variety streaming for all six days the same game. You know what I mean? On, I do Witcher on during the week. And over weekends, I do different games. Just to have a little break in my schedule. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. And uh, as always, keep on streaming, South Africa.